has this happened to anybody else? Like, his hair is falling out. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Rainbow High doll for you. So today's doll is going to be River Kendall. And this, I'm really excited for this one because he is the first boy doll for the Rainbow High line. And he's my favorite color. So he's like teal or that kind of turquoise color like I don't know he's like a blue green color and um that's my favorite color like um I like teal and purple are my two favorite colors but I think teal is definitely my number one so um I'm just really excited to finally have a teal doll for this line um but it's really cool also that they have a boy doll in the line as well so for the new year I'm adding four new dolls to my collection of rainbow high dolls um so in my last video I did a review for Crystal Bailey and if you want to see that I'll put an, um, a link up in the i cards as well as down in the description um I'm also after I review River I'm I'm also filming the review for Stella Monroe and Amaya Rain, but it is the um, the original Amaya Rain, not the Series 2 one, uh, just because I kind of like this one better. Um, so I will be doing reviews for those, so keep an eye out for if you want to see those, and if you don't want to miss those when those come out, then go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell, because you'll get a nice little notification letting you know when they do upload. Okay, enough with the sales pitch, let's get to the doll. Um, <laughs> so, of course, each of the Rainbow High dolls come in this really beautiful packaging that kind of has this metallic kind of reflective um, material printed that they use. On the back, it has a picture of all the characters for series two. Um, so they're all different and then they're all done up. It's always done like a rainbow and they're in order based off of their actual color. So you can kind of see uh, what they're supposed to look like, which is kind of cool. Um, all of the Rainbow High dolls do come with a second outfit and a second pair of shoes, which I'm really excited about because um, my favorite shoe style is Converse. Like, the classic just converse all-stars the black and white you know with the white uh, white toe cap and this is basically it except with like teal shoelaces i love it i would oh i would wear these i would totally wear these in real life you know i just in fact i kind of want to see if i can get some <laughs> and even if they don't i think i'm just gonna do that after i get done filming this video i'm gonna go on to converse and see if i can order myself um a new pair of converse because i haven't had converse for a while but um anyway now i don't remember if this said this on uh crystal's packaging but there is a sticker here that says watch on youtube because they are advertising there is a web mini series or a web web webisodes whatever anyway there's a series of cartoons like the 3d animations for Rainbow High, so um, you can check that out. I've been watching it. Um, I haven't been watching The Vi Life, which is like just pretty much a recap. If you don't want to watch the entire episode, just watch the Vi Life episodes because she just basically sums up everything that happens in the episodes. But um, I've been keeping up on um, the episodes. It's it's a cute little show. The episodes are very short. They are very like fast paced. So um, they're obviously aimed towards kids because you know they're gonna hold a kid's attention. I feel like they're they're not necessarily on par with Ever After High or even Monster High. But, you know, they're trying. They're trying. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the box. So that way we can take a look at him a little closer without the glare from all of my lights and computer screens here. And I will be right back. Now, if you want to see how I open the Rainbow High doll boxes, I mean, I use an X-Acto knife to just kind of go around and cut the tape around the whole thing. But if you want to actually see how I do it, I show you in my... Skyler video, the blue one. Um, I think that that video does. So I'll I'll put that up in the i cards and uh, link down below if you want to check that out. Um, just because I try to do it so I don't damage the boxes because they are really pretty and um, you know they could be good for crafting materials or something. Or if you want to put them back in the box or whatever. All right, and here is River Kendall out of the box. Can you stand on your own? <gasps> he can, he can stand on his own. 
So far, I don't know if, I don't remember if some of the other dolls have been able to stand on their own, but he can actually stand on his own, but he does come with a stand just like all of the other Rainbow High dolls. I think this is my favorite stand so far just because I really, really like this color. Um, just like all of them, they're slightly see-through with glitter embed in it, and it does say Rainbow across the front. The dolls also come with a comb that matches the stand, uh, and it also says Rainbow. And then they each come with two hangers. One is like a normal hanger, and one is like a, a pan hanger which is really cool okay so let's take a look at River so this is River Kendall and his name I guess is a play on a uh, river that's actually in another there's a river somewhere it's Kendall River so his name is kind of a play on that um, a lot of people online myself included think that his name might be a play on Ken doll like Barbie's boyfriend Ken um, not sure but um, you know it definitely could be I just think his face is so cute he doesn't really have any makeup but um, his face paint is really good he has like um, the crease over his eye painted eyebrows and his lips are painted, but other than that, it's pretty simplistic. Uh, he also has eyelashes, which I think is kind of cool. Normally, most guy dolls don't have eyelashes just to kind of like really hammer in, this is a boy, but you know, boys can have really nice eyelashes too, just saying. He also has the inset eyes, you know, the, the creepy acrylic inset eyes that follow you and stare at you when you're sleeping. He comes with this hat that has a whole bunch of like money signs on it, which I mean, I don't mind a backwards baseball cap, but like this style hat is definitely not my style. So I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it on him, but let me, oh geez. How... Okay. Whew. Well, <laughs> there's like a peg inside that goes into like a hole in the top of his head. But um, anyway, so this is what he looks like without the hat. I love his hair. Oh God. Oh, oh, do you see that? <laughs> Can you see how much it's still going? Oh my God. All this hair that's falling out. Is that just from the haircut? Like, what's going on? Why is there so much hair falling out of this poor boy's head? Oh, it's still going. What is happening? Has this happened to anybody else? Like, his hair is falling out. There's literally, like, chunks coming out. Like, I, oh my gosh. Do I just have bad luck with rainbow high dolls? Like, is, is it? I don't know. Okay, hold on. Okay. I, it's it's kind of stopping. I think it was just because of the way that the hair was cut. Like, maybe they didn't get rid of all the excess hair, but like, look at this. I'm gonna take a picture real quick to show you guys. So I'm just gonna put that picture here that I just now took. That's just what fell on my desk because a lot of it like fell on my shirt and fell on the ground as well. But like now I'm gonna have to clean up all this hair. All right, well, he has just as nice hair quality as the other dolls, which I'm really happy about. It is very gelled um, to try and keep the style. He has like an undercut. So see, he, he's got like the long hair on top and it's like flocked on the sides. So it's like super soft underneath. I like the fact that it's a lighter color too. I think that's kind of a cool detail. I noticed a lot of boy dolls recently, at least the ones that have like um, rooted hair, have an undercut like haircut style like this. I wonder if it's just easier to do or what, but um, I, I'm not complaining because I like it. I like the way it looks. But I noticed that for like the Collector Bratz that came out in 2018, um, the, I forgot what his name is, but um, he has an undercut as well. And then the boy for the Hair Amazing dolls, he also has an undercut. And so does Hunter from Ever After High. If you saw my video, like not my last video, but I think it was like two videos ago, where I compared the, um, you know, top four doll lines that I'm collecting right now. Um, if you want to see a video where I, I compare the boy dolls, let me know in the comments down below. Just say, you know, yes, compare the dolls or whatever. Just leave a quick little comment. And if that's something you guys want to see, I, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do another one of those comparison videos and I'll compare the boy dolls. So one thing I'm not too sure about is like the back, the haircut looks kind of choppy, which is kind of disappointing. I don't know. Maybe once I like clean him up and like wash out the gel and stuff like that. Oh, more hair came out. Um, maybe it'll look a little bit nicer and less weird and choppy. I don't know. Here's his outfit. He's got this kind of like, what do you call it? Like a letterman jacket, but it says rainbow on the back here. And this is actually embroidered. It's not just a patch or painted on. It's actually embroidered, which is nice. And then on the front here, it has like the RH for rainbow high. Um, he has pockets. Well, okay. These are faux pockets here, but they're like the little 
faux leather. Oh, by the way, I guess there's a variant for this doll. Um, the sleeves, there's two different options you could have gotten. This is the like faux leather one, and there's another one that's like a matte material that's like maybe denim or something. Um, but anyway, I got the one with the faux leather. I didn't see the, the variant at the store I went to. I just saw this option. So that's why I got this, but I don't think I would have really cared either way. He's wearing some jeans, which I like. I think more dolls need to come with jeans. Hashtag more casual doll clothes, because seriously, like, I like these jeans. I like the fact that it's kind of got the distressed, like, ripped knee look to it and everything. Um, it's kind of cuffed here. I don't know if these are, like, inspired by a certain designer jean or not, but it is what it is. I like them. I'd wear them. He comes with a shirt tied around his waist, and this is actually more like a skirt, because it does velcro in the back for you to take it off and if you were to undo this it doesn't actually make a full shirt it's literally just made to be worn around his waist like this which is kind of a bummer but i also understand because like i think the length of the sleeves wouldn't be long enough to tie it around his waist and look this good um but also i think that if you did tie like an actual shirt that he could wear around his waist it would probably look a little bulky or not lay down right so which is why they made this look like this so I'm not too mad at it. Underneath his jacket, he has a hoodie. Um, it is sleeveless, and I think that that's just mainly to be able to fit under the jacket, because I don't know if they'd be able to get a full <laughs> hoodie sleeve through the sleeves of this other jacket, at least not without it looking super bulky or not being able to, like, bend his arms at all. For him to be able to put it on, the hood does Velcro right here. Um, that's kind of cool. It's just a nice little convenience these are his shoes. He's got these cool sneakers. Uh, once again, I don't know, like, the inspiration for these or where they pulled inspiration from for this design, but I like these. You know, I'd probably wear these as well. I just, I, mainly I like the color, uh, combination here, and I like that it's got the little orange tag, that little pop of orange, just to kind of, like, contrast. Oh, also on his hoodie, it says sparkle right there. So it's kind of got the Supreme logo, which is kind of cool. I don't even really know too much about Supreme, so I don't like really have a preference either way, but um, I just, I like the way that the logo hoodie looks. Okay, so really quick, I'm going to take off his outfit because I want to show you guys the articulation for this doll um, because it, for the most part, it's the same as all of the other Rainbow High dolls, but it is a little bit different. And also his um, body type is a little different. Um, but also, plus this will give me a chance to just get him ready to show you the second outfit anyway. All right, and here he is without his clothes on. So here you can see all the different points of articulation. Um, most of the Rainbow High dolls have 17 points of articulation. He actually has 19 points of articulation. So he can move at the head. He can also move at the shoulder. He has two joints at the elbow. He has a joint at the wrist. He can move at the hip and then, um, or sorry, the, yeah, the hip joint and then the upper thigh, there's a joint right there. Um, he is double jointed at the knee or two joints at the knee. And then these dolls also have articulation in the ankle and the girl dolls don't have that. So he's got kind of like an average build, but he does also have a six pack. <laughs> Which, uh, like a lot of people are bringing this up in their reviews of River and, um, they're talking about it being, you know, more realistic. I don't know if it's necessarily more realistic or less realistic or whatever, but, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, they just, they did what they can to give him a more of, like, a boy body shape, so that way you can definitely differentiate between the boys and the girls. Honestly, I think they should have done, like, with Creatable World and just given them all, like, neutral bodies so that they can mix and match any of the fashions. But that's just me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the struggle is real with these socks. Like... Uh, I always have this issue with Rainbow High shoes. Not his shoes. His shoes have the slit in the back, thank goodness. So they're easy to pop on and pop off the feet. But, like, I'm running into the same issue. Like, you can literally just see there the width of the opening of the sock is stretched to full capacity right there. But it still has to hit, like, go around his heel. Like, how does MGA expect us to be able to put these socks on the doll? Ugh, okay, it's... I've seen other people do it, so I know you can do it. Uh, this is probably just going to take some finagling. I'll be back in a minute, and we'll see how long this takes. 
All right, I finally got these socks on. Um, I did end up having to break the thread in the left sock. It just would not go over. And when I pushed it, it the thread just kind of broke. And then all of a sudden it was super easy to slide the sock on and off. So there you go. Um, but I can tell you right now, these shoes, well, the shoes might, but like the socks are not coming off this doll ever again. <laughs> they were so hard to take off the doll or put on the doll in the first place. They're staying where they're at. <laughs> So here is River's second outfit. Um, this is a cute little style. He's got this like windbreaker jacket kind of thing with a hood and it's got like these gold and uh, teal details and it has in gold printed RH over and over for Rainbow High. And then talking about the details, you know, it's got the faux zipper in the front, which is really cool. Plus these little elastic things. He's wearing these, they kind of look like, I don't know if they're just like workout shorts or if they're supposed to be like a swimsuit like swim trunks or something, um, but they are, they're kind of like a faux leather material and they have kind of a snake skin pattern on it. They're like patent. And then they have this like black faux leather around the bottom, like the piping and up the side. And then of course my favorite part of the second outfit are the shoes. I love these Converse inspired shoes. Instead of it saying Converse or All Stars, uh, it just says RH right here and then it says Rainbow right here. And the shoes themselves are a little see-through. You can kind of see the socks through them. You know, this is another one that I actually kind of prefer his first outfit. I'm kind of surprised. Series 2 is like flipping the script because so far Series 1, almost all of the dolls, I preferred their second outfit, but I'm really liking the first outfit for all of Series 2 that I've got so far. Although, I don't know, I might actually mix and match because I'm absolutely keeping these shoes on him. Uh, and I do like this t-shirt, but I like the jeans and the like shirt tied around the waist from the other outfit. And I kind of like this like I don't know what it's called, Le a Letterman jacket or like a varsity jacket. I've, I forgot what it's what it's actually called, but um, if you know, leave a comment down below and let me know what it's actually called. Um, but I actually like that. So I might just kind of like mix and match and create my own outfit for him. I'm not gonna put the hat back on. I didn't really care for the, the hat itself. Um, I don't know, just not a fan. Plus I really like his hair. So like by having the hat on, you don't get to see his hair. So I think I'm just gonna keep him without the hat so that way um, I can just show this off because I love this hair color, if you couldn't tell. I, <laughs> I love this hair color. All right, so just like with all of my Rainbow High dolls, I will be washing out the product out of their hair because they have really, really nice hair quality. Um, but like the way that it is right out of the box, it kind of has that weird box hair situation. So I'm gonna clean that up and I'm gonna do that later off camera. Um, I will be push posting pictures of all of these dolls on my Instagram. If you wanna check that out, I always leave all my social media down in the box below, um, but it's just at Chad Marvelous. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. Let me know about your thoughts on him. Um, like, have you noticed anybody else have that issue with the hair? Because that was so random. And I now I have to clean this up because I hate loose hair, <laughs> just like on the desk like this. So I definitely have to get this cleaned up after I'm done filming. But um, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Of course, if you did, let me know by hitting the thumbs up. If you want to see more doll reviews like this, I have a few more coming up. I'm filming all of these in a straight shot, one after another. And I'm going to be posting these all between this week and next week, um, just kind of like sporadic. And then after after that, I'll be back to my normal schedule, which um, I usually like to post videos every Wednesday, except for when I don't and I post on Thursday. Whew, that was a lot. But <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get going. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload. I post new videos every week Wednesday, except for when I don't and I post them on Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.